What's up, Ada Nation? Welcome to Dapp Central, your home for everything blockchain and crypto. I'm your host, Fareed. As a part of today's video, we're getting an update on the development and deployment of USDM currently being worked on by Mineta. Now, there's a full rebrand that I want to highlight as a part of today's video. There's also an update surrounding the equity raise for W3i software. And I want to explain exactly where they fall into the picture with respect to Mineta as well as USDM. Now, towards the latter end of today's video, I do want to highlight one additional state that has been onboarded. And I also want to take a look at the general stablecoin marketplace for Cardano. So I want to talk a little bit more about my USD from Mint, IUSD from Indigo. We've also got Jed deployed by Cody and of course, USDM there as well. Now, that said, if it's your first time stopping by and you appreciate content like this or just want more of it, First things first, just make sure to smash that thumbs up. It's really one of the easiest ways to go ahead and support me here on the channel. And I definitely thank you and appreciate you for taking the time to do so. If you want more content like this, consider subscribing to Dapp Central, which covers everything Cardano. And last but not least, if you have any questions or just want to share your opinion, then leave a comment down below. Now, if you'd like to take your support a step further, consider delegating with the official Dapp Central stake pool, which is stake pool ticker DAPP. Right now, you'll be earning your traditional ADA rewards in addition to the Sarah token, the Matera token, and the Tokyo token, all three projects building and deploying here on Cardano. Let's go ahead and jump right on into today's video. If you're not already subscribed to the monthly newsletter, which is shared for free by the Mineta team, I'll leave the link to that down below. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe. Once per month, you're updated as to what's going on with this growing stablecoin. Now, that said, let's jump into this here. Um, we've got the first portion, which breaks down the W3i software shares, which are now basically available for purchase through a platform called Chainraise. I'm going to go ahead and quickly share exactly how much has been raised so far and what some of their target goals are and exactly what W3i software actually is. So it starts off by stating the W3i community investment round is officially open with the link to the official um, raise on Chainraise. And from this point forward, any and all information about our securities offering will be found there. Now, again, I'm going to talk a little bit more about what W3i is. But basically, from a structural standpoint, you could imagine that USDM is a product deployed and managed by Mineta, but then overshadowing Mineta, right, under a um, bigger umbrella, we've got W3i software. So we could have more products more opportunities, more offerings coming directly from W3i with their first product or offering being USDM, which is currently deployed or managed by Mineta. Hopefully that makes things a little bit clear. You've got W3i at the very top, followed by different products that they manage, which include Mineta. And then you've got Mineta, who's actually deploying or managing all the development surrounding USDM. It continues to read, although we're a US-based company, Ordinary investors from around the world are able to buy shares of W3i. So this is different than a um, Web3 token sale or a Web3 equity sale, where there's typically a lot of KYC involved. If you're using Chainrace, there's no KYC and anybody from around the globe without any restrictions can go ahead and apply or put capital to earn or to purchase shares of W3i. It continues to state, as promised, we're making a series crowdfunding Class A common shares an investment instrument that will be tokenizable in the future. Now, what's interesting is that W3i is actually working on a tokenizing platform themselves, which I want to touch on here now. So let me quickly pull this up. And this is the official Chainraise website. And again, I'll leave the link to this down below. As you can see right now, they've raised a total of $81,500. Their minimum goal was currently set at 50,000. So congrats to the team. They've at least met that. And their stretch goal is five times that amount, which brings them to $250,000. Now, that said, if we scroll down just a little bit, it talks about what W3i software is, but then they also talk about brand new products and where W3i will be going next. So it states here, W3i will soon begin production on Mavikai, an equity tokenization platform. So again, the shares or the equity that you're purchasing through chain raise appears that it will be tokenizable with the next product that W3i themselves will be building. So again, keep in mind that W3i is not just tied to USDM, 
they can provide a slew of financial instruments or financial products um, under their umbrella with Moneta being just one of those. So interesting and a nice bit of alpha there. I do want to take an opportunity here to just quickly mention the fact that I will be sitting down with the president of USDM, Matthew Plowman, tomorrow or on the 16th of July. So if you're watching this before then, and if, and if you have any questions that, you've, that you would like for me to post directly to Matthew, then please make sure to go and leave them down below as a part of today's comments. Um, but I'm going to be talking to him about W3I, the development of USDM, the different states that have been onboarded, retail adoption, business adoption, et cetera. So again, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those down below. Now let's jump back into the um, monthly newsletter here. We've got a couple more points that I want to quickly highlight. And so we've already touched on chain race. Scrolling down, we've got the addition of a brand new state, giving us a total of 18 states where minting and burning for USDM is now allowed. So it states here, Hawaii has been added to USDM. Big news for anybody who's within Hawaii. USDM will now be available in the Aloha State. If you're a business in Hawaii, you may now be eligible to become a Mineta business partner as an individual or as retail. You'll have to actually wait until the retail mint launches. Again, let's take another break here. The official launch for retail has not yet been announced. I know people have been um, anticipating this for quite a bit of time. The team, at least when I've reached out, has just been transparent and stating that they want to be very careful about um, how they go about releasing the retail side of operations. Obviously, there could be a huge uh, influx of people that want to mint, therefore potentially impacting all of the underlying infrastructure. So they're taking their time, making sure to dot their I's, cross their T's, and just really making sure that the platform will be robust enough for onboarding of potentially hundreds of thousands of users who want to mint and burn USDM at any given time. Now, that said, again, there's no updates here about retail in this particular article or in this particular monthly update. But they do list all of the states that they're currently able to operate in. Again, you can see that listed here, um, highlighted in blue. Scrolling down um, in very last piece here, we've got the rebrand for Mahen. So Mahen is old and Mineta is the new um, label for Mahen. So it states here, you may have noticed USDM's new logo, which they definitely have had a new logo and I've covered that in a separate video. But in addition to that, Mahen Innovations is now Mineta Digital. As with Mahen, we wanted to basically have a name that embodied a special meaning and Mineta in short means money or currency or coin in a variety of languages. That said, I believe that'll take us through the July monthly newsletter. But now I want to take a brief moment here to take a look at just the general ecosystem because we have had rising reserves for USDM. So I'm jumping over into the Charlie 3 developer portal where we can see that we are now nearing $5 million worth of USDM on chain. The last mint that has come through was actually a pretty big one. As you guys can see here, it's about $1.375 million of USDM that was minted during the last epoch. So more and more people are minting. And again, keep in mind, this is only um, businesses right now, no retail adoption just yet. What's crazy is that this already surpasses the amount that we have available minted for Jed. So Jed, we've got 3 million of, USDM nearly 5 million. When we take a look at my USD by mint, I believe there's about 2 million. And then we take a look at IUSD from Indigo, there's about 11 million, but really only 6 million on the open market with the remaining uh, basically stored in the IUSD or the Indigo protocol insurance pools in case there's any liquidations that have to occur. Now, if I jump back over here, another comment or question that I receive a lot is about when we're actually going to be able to see the value that's being brought on by USDM reflected on DeFi Llama. As it stands right now, when you take a look at DeFi Llama, it is actually incorrect. So it's only counting IUSD from Indigo and it's only counting Jed from Cody. It's not incorporating uh, my USD and it's not incorporating or counting USDM either. So in total, about six or seven million dollars worth of stable coins not actually being um, accounted for here when it comes to DeFi Llama. Now, what does it actually take? That I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure that the team at USDM is well aware and that they're actively working on around the clock in order to make that happen. Jumping over next year, I do want to quickly highlight something that is very interesting. So I'm currently looking at the USDM token here. We can see that there's $4.8 million worth of the stable coin minted online, but there's only only 242 separate wallets 
that actually hold USDM. I was highly surprised to think uh, to, to see that um, again, because there was just so much hype around the actual announcement and the development and the release of USDM that I thought that we'd have at least a thousand holders for that particular asset. Now, just for comparison sake, I've got Jed here that has over 1000 ad addresses or accounts that currently hold the token. IUSD has 500 accounts holding the token. And then my USD from Mint currently has about 200 accounts holding their asset. Um, in comparison, right, to meme coin, for example, like Nike, there's over 4,000 different addresses holding that meme coin compared to the 268 addresses holding USDM. So um, I think we just need more incentives, more opportunities, and more education surrounding how to put stable coins to work for you. If you'd like to see more content like that, just leave a comment down below and I can begin to maybe focus on more strategy videos as opposed to the news-based or fact-based approaches. Again, touching um, and hopefully enlighten you guys with different approaches or different strategies that you can take to earn yield, right? Still with little to no risk, um, but with assets that you're going to be holding regardless or that are always in your wallet regardless. So that will do it here for today's video. Again, let me know if you guys would, would like some more of those strategy-based videos. I'm more than happy to put some of those together, but that'll do it here for today's update when it comes to USDM. Again, make sure to go ahead and provide any comments that you may have down below. But if you found any portion of today's video to be helpful, I would appreciate you if you could smash that thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by and you want more content like this, consider subscribing to DAP Central. And last but not least, if you have any questions for me, then go ahead and leave that comment down there. That said, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.